Hello friends! In this video, I'm going to do a comparison between two Bioray sunscreen products which are both SPF 50 plus PA++++. If you want to know quite a bit about these products and their difference like which one has matte finish and dewy finish and which of the two leaves white cast and has richer formulation, then just keep on watching! First, let us know the difference between sunscreen and sunblock. Sunscreen contains chemicals that absorbs UV rays before your skin absorbs it, while sunblock literally blocks UV rays by forming physical shield. I've been using Bioray Perfect Milk for 3 years and I love this product because it's lightweight and fast absorbing. I apply it on my face in the morning and that's good for the entire day. It's not waterproof though but I observe that it doesn't wear off completely by sweating, at least for me. But some research says that it's best to reapply sunscreen. By the way, this 40ml retails for 455 pesos. Now let's have another Bioray product. It is Watery Essence Aqua Rich. This is 85 grams and it retails for 488 pesos, which is comparatively cheaper than the perfect milk and I think more practical choice because you already get an 85 gram content for almost the same price. Let's take a look at the consistency of these sunscreen products. Starting with the Perfect Milk. This one is fast absorbing and the consistency is runny. The good thing in this kind of consistency is that it can be evenly applied on the entire face effortlessly. It doesn't dry out on its own unless you spread it evenly on the skin. It gives a matte to powdery finish. The only downside is that it leaves a bit of white cast. Do you see the white film on the skin? This liquid formulation gives off that kind of appearance especially when still wet. But when it dries, it doesn't look that white anymore. But along my hairline, there is this white cast that stays on after I put my face powder or after sweating. So the next one is the Watery Essence Aqua Rich. This is a gel type sunscreen. Its consistency is a bit tacky, but it's fast absorbing. Although not as fast absorbing as the perfect milk, it is also lightweight and it gives off a dewy finish. With this kind of consistency, I have to spread it over and over again until it is applied evenly on the skin. Now, take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison of the perfect milk and the watery essence. The perfect milk gives a powdery appearance when it dries up while the watery essence gives a dewy finish look on the skin. As you can see, I had to go back to the watery essence and spread it evenly in a circular motion which I did not do with the perfect milk. There are things to take note of. Both of these sunscreens are not waterproof but they can last all day as long as you don't go for a swim or get caught in the rain. Let's take note also that sunscreen is important on sunny, cloudy, and even rainy days to protect the skin from getting damaged by the UV rays. I want to share my final thoughts on these two sunscreen products based on my personal experience. I'm not an expert by the way, but I really want to give an honest comparison so I started using the Watery Essence Aqua Rich since last week. And surprisingly, I think I like it more than the Perfect Milk. I'm thinking about switching to the Watery Essence one because I like its formulation. It is gel type. It's a bit tacky though but 
since I have combination skin, so I think the gel type works better for me. The perfect milk has matte to powdery finish, which I used to like, but I observe that my skin leans towards on being dry these days, maybe because age is a factor. I'm already 40 years old and my skin condition changed quite a bit, so I need to adjust to the change that my skin is having. As a result of using watery essence for a couple of days, I figured that I have to switch from perfect milk to watery essence mainly because I find watery essence richer in formulation and I like its dewy to semi-matte finish effect on my skin. So there it is. I hope it helps you in getting to know a bit of information about these two products. For young people out there, teenagers and those who are in their 20s, 30s or even older ones, I suggest that you use sunscreen or sunblock whichever works for you to protect your skin from the harmful effects of the UV rays. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to know when I upload. Thank you for watching! Bye!